Brooklyn, Chicago State University allegedly wiped the 1979 yearbook from their website to protect the Nibu's image. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my channel. Coming to our desktop today, Chicago State University has allegedly wiped out the 1979 yearbook from their website just to make sure that the Nibu's image is protected. Does it mean that Nigeria government does not want Nigeria to be a better place? Does it mean that people like Bola Ahmed Nibu want to continue to sit where he did not win? Does it also mean that Biden has hand in this atrocities that we should also find out. Tinibu was a man who submitted a fake certificate to INEC while he was running for presidency. Tinibu was also the man who could not win election but firstly He was forced to Nigerians by selection. Tinibu was also the person who let us find out that he had double certificate from the same cause in the same university. All of a sudden, the so-called Chicago University has wiped it out from their website. What does that tell you? This should tell you that bidding has hand in all this hotel. He may have something else in mind. He may believe something else that he can also explain in your comment section. But the truth is that I have the equal right as a human being to tell you what I believe. And what I believe is this. That bidding has hand in what is happening today. Bidding has come to impose a president to you. This was why they hurriedly congratulated him, even when they knew that he did not win election, that he was rigged into office. So many people suffered in this election. Some were macheted, some were killed. Some even went to hospital. After they were macheted, they still came back that same day to vote. For a man that they believe will change Nigeria. But upon that, in it hurriedly elected a fake man, or shall I say, selected a fake man as a president of Nigeria. This was a man who has a case of drug in the same United States. The date. The so-called FBI and Interpo has not said anything about it. This was a man who has double certificate. The same certificate that they have wiped out from the website of the so-called Chicago University just to protect the image of the so-called selected president of Nigeria, Bola Metinibu. The question is, what does American government want from Nigerians? What does British want from Nigeria? I thought they claim they have left. Why are they imposing leaders on us? Why are they imposing leaders on us? They continue to impose leaders on Nigerians. The masses of Nigerians are suffering. We have resources. Many resources enough to build Nigeria to a better place. But since we claim we have independent date, nothing good has been done. All we could not to create is rich leaders, which happen to be criminals. When you travel to Chicago today, travel to every side of the world, you see their mansions, their businesses, their hotels, how their children are living largely. These are poor, vati thinking people that don't have anything before they become leaders 
why the masses of Nigeria are suffering. Even those that the resources coming out from their land, they have no good road, they have no light, nothing you can ever boast for. This is all Nigeria, not only one place. I'm telling you the truth. Even those who are going to produce leaders, they are People are also suffering. I am so upset about this whole thing because we told you that Nigeria can never walk from the beginning. This was why people like us started fighting and yelling for freedom of our people. This is why we want Biafra. This is why some people want to do the republic. But to be then insisted that they are going to win. They are going to fight, which they did. They won. But this whole thing was a shred. Because why? Because some people who claim they are born to rule in Nigeria, some people who are criminally minded, did everything possible to truncate the sweat, the blood of innocent Nigerians who voted on that election to their best candidate that they believe that will make Nigeria a better place if elected into office. But he neck dashed their hopes and they selected a man because of 100 billion. It shall never be well with Mahudu or whatever they call him. But we must continue. We must continue because if obedient, allow this to lie. Believe me, you will never smell into it anymore. If your mandate is denied, even the next 50 years, you will not have a good country. People will continue to suffer. All they will do is continue to keep people just like they are clean today. You may believe that because they are clean people in Biafra land, that is not their concern. These are Nigerians. They are. So many people believe in Biafra struggle. No doubt. Why some of them still don't believe? Because they don't want to die. Not that they don't believe. They don't want to die. For this reason, they continue to pretend. Just like people like us, our hardcore Biafrans who believe so much in that. Just like there is some people who believe so much in the Republic. Hardcore. And no matter what you told them, they will still take the same thing. Because they know that Nigeria cannot work. Not when you continue to breed criminally minded leaders. Not that Nigeria don't have great people who can lead Nigeria and lead it to grace. But they continue to produce fake presidency who are making things worse for Nigerians. So many people are dumping themselves into swamp. Some are falling into Legu because of lack of money, poverty, stinking poverty, no money to eat, no money to anything at all. Even when those who are away struggle so hard to make money and send to their families, it's not even enough. Because men who don't have certificates continue to rule Nigeria. Because men who has nothing to offer continue to rule Nigeria. Because people like Obama and Biden continue to force people to Nigerians to rule them. If not, tell me. Can somebody tell me what uh, Biden is looking for in Nigeria? Why should Biden tell the so called Chicago University to wipe out uh, Bola Medinibu's certificate? Do they think we are stupid? This is something that is done by a high ranking officer, not a chaff. And this is why FBI is not investigating it. This is why Interpol is not investigating it. Look, I am not afraid of anybody. I am only exercising my right. I am ready to stand anywhere you call me. This is what I saw and this is what I'm explaining. Unless, of course, Chicago University have to come out and explain themselves that they have never wiped out anything like they claim in this social media. Then we will begin to understand. But since they were accused, Nothing has been said. They have not even debunked it. It's quite unfortunate. I will say, I told you. APC are so good in business of wiping this out. 
from website. Just like the way they wiped your every resort, all your sweat from the website of INEC. This is what they have done with Chicago University. During the first that they were added by bidding. This was why in fact the Bola made Nibu to America to see him. Look, something is cooking. Nobody wants Nigeria to be a better place. The way they hold Nigeria down for so many years is what they are trying to do to Nigeria. Or should I say what they are trying? No, what they have done to Nigeria. They have done it to Nigerians for so many years. Bidding this so. And Obama is doing so now. No, Obama did so, but Bidin is doing so now. So that is it. Since Buhari left office with the whole credit he accumulated from different world. Have you ever seen Obama come out to apologize to Nigerians openly for giving them a fake leader? No, he can't. Because he's so proud of himself. He go around, if he does not in care today, he's in America dancing rock and roll. What a shame. In this no name, Sabi had to dance like a row. People are called dance, I'm tired. Enough is enough. If they feel saying I should be the way that they dance, now they go to destroy Nigerian youth. They're the way they are time. I told them, after the ANSAS protest, nothing was done. The Nigerian military went free. Because even the so called Nigerian bar session could not do anything. The so-called people who are supposed to be interpreting the law could not do anything. They allow those who murdered innocent people in ancestors' protests to go free. And for this reason, they can't do anything. Nigerian government can't do anything. Don't give a damn. Because they are being supported by the world powers, especially the America and the Britain. No wonder why they want to go to war in Niger. Because they want to close the mouth of Niger. And the other African countries who have suffered the same humiliation in the hands of France. Enough is enough. If you don't rise up now and do the needful, believe me, time shall come when you will not see Nigeria anymore. I think I've come to the end of this news. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, watch my news, and share my news. And drop your comment in the comment section what you think. For me, like I've told you, Bidding has hand in it. If not, Interpol should start investigating the so-called Chicago State University. Thank you so much and may God bless you all. Cheers.